Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to have a look at a couple of these error messages that come up from time to time in Calc and just explain what they're all about. So in column A, I've got five of the more common error messages, but it's not all of them. But I just want to quickly go through why you would get these. So first of all, the name one. Now, name ranges is something that's great. I love name ranges and name cells. But if you accidentally type a letter or a word with equals in front of it and it is not a name, Calc doesn't recognize it and, and, and it comes up with that error message. So, for example, if I type equals test and test is not a name, when I tick that, it comes up with this question mark and tells you that is not a name. However, if I do click into a cell and name it test, it then removes that error message because there is now a name called test. Now, the ref one is a bit more sinister, if you like. I'm just going to create a second sheet. And then from this first sheet, I'm going to go equals, click onto the second sheet and click into A1 nothing in there but I'll just tick that comes back with zero now if I go and delete that sheet what you'll get is a reference because it can't find it so that will happen if you've got a link to an external file as well and then that file is either moved or deleted and it's part of a formula in this file obviously it can't see it so it comes up with the error message now, the next one is very common, div zero. You see that a lot. It's not necessarily an error message or fault. It's just saying, I can't divide by zero. So if you go equals and then 10, say, and then divide and pick a, I'll pick that cell, you get div zero because there's nothing in it. If I put two in there, it then works. But while there's nothing in it, It'll show div zero. So you get that often when you've got a spreadsheet which is correctly formatted and it's got the correct formulas in it, but there's no data yet. But you get these div zeros popping up. What you need to do there is put an if statement in front of that. So basically, if um, there's no information in cell G1, I'll just color that yellow so you can see where I'm referring to. So if I say equals in front of that, if this equals zero comma quote quote do nothing otherwise then do that sum and then I'll close the if bracket at the end that gets rid of the div zero message and so you can do stuff like that to tidy up a spreadsheet because I don't personally like to see div zeros everywhere now the NA one is a another example of a message that could come up this is to do with VLOOKUP in this example I've got here. So I've got a little table there. Let's just have a go at doing this one. Equals VLOOKUP. Open the bracket. So I want to look at whatever goes in there. Comma. I want to look at this table. Comma. And then I want column 2. Comma. And then 0 for an exact match. And I'll close that bracket. And then click the tick. And I'll get NA. I need to have a numbered list here anyhow, so if I just pull that down, so I've got numbers, and if I type a number, say 2 in there, that brings back sales, so that's okay, but if there's nothing in there, it got, it's got this NA. Now the same principle applies with the NA error message as it does with this one. So div 0 has disappeared, now if I put an if statement in front of that one, so I just go equals if this time if that equals zero comma quote quote do nothing otherwise then do the vlookup so if there's something in there do the vlookup close the bracket for the if tick that it's blank no error message it still works type three this time should get retail gets retail and then the last one in this little session is value which comes up quite a lot actually so if i go equals um let's go for c1 plus b8 now b8 has got a word in it so let's see what happens there tick so you get value now if i click um say on a different cell let's backspace that off 
and just click into the cell above which hasn't got anything in it that's just coming with 10 but if I double click into there and just do a space bar let's see what happens a couple of spaces I get value so this catches loads of people out so everything looks okay the formula looks okay there's nothing in there but it's still coming up with value and in this case it's because when you double click in it there is spaces so you can use find and replace to get rid of spaces but you've got to be careful and that sometimes happens when data is dropped into a spreadsheet from an external source some financial package or something and it has spaces before or after or worse still i find that some people i don't know why they do it but when they type they do a space at the end of it as soon as they're finished but that's basically what a value error message means when there's a text um, string in a formula it doesn't like it so that's all I want to talk about in this little video these little five uh, five error messages hopefully you found that of use thank you for your time and I'll see you on the next one